Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about staying the course when you get to a point of uh, your withdrawals. You're going to be competing with your own mind. And that's one of the hardest parts of the whole situation is that your soul and your heart wants you to get clean. You're, you're tired of the lifestyle you're living, all the, the lies and the manipulation and all that heavy weight on your shoulders of trying to keep up with everything that was spewing out of your mouth. But at the same time, your mind and your, your, the voice in your head is telling you, you know what, if you just take one more pill or you just take one more bag, everything will go back to normal. We could just, you know, we can, we can work this out. We might be able to make this work. We can, we can scrounge up some money and do this and that. And you know that's all bull. When I was towards the end of my use, I mean, I had so many lies and so many things I manipulated people on. And my whole life was just complete. It was completely bull. I mean, nothing was like like reality. It was just all made up and lies and everything. And it was just so hard to take, con take control of any of that. I mean, I, I lost complete control of my life. And when I got clean and you, know, you look back on it, you just are flabbergasted by, by how much you manipulate even yourself to believe some of the stuff you're doing so you can get what you need to get. Okay. You just become a complete shell. And, and I was, I was a wackadoo, man. I, I was out there and, uh, I know that withdrawal, the first stages of recovery are extremely difficult. We all know that, but it's not impossible. It, you're going to go through stages where you're going to have extreme bouts, where it's going to be very hard, and then you'll have a little victory. You just have to keep pushing through till you get that little victory. All right, savor the victory because it, it may not last for a long time, and you might have to go back to battle again. Okay, but over time, these these victories last longer to the point where it is just a victory, and you're living a happy life. You're back to where you were. And I know that's what you're all looking for. You want to go back to before the first time you had one of those blues or, or a bag of dope. You, you look back on that and you're like, how was I happy back then? How did I, how did I be social? And how did I just go about my life without this stuff? Because over time, you just forget how to live a normal life because you're constantly taking in this, stu this substance. You think it, it's, it's like air, like you need it. And without it, you're nobody, and that's, that's just a lie. I mean, y you will learn, again, how great life can be without this stuff, that you can go into a room, and you can co converse with people, and, and have a good time, and not have to have a substance to rely on to give you energy to, to vacuum the house, and do the dishes, and take care of the kids, and all that other stuff. You don't need it, all right? You will heal, and you'll get to a point where you'll look back on this stuff and be like, man, I such a prisoner to, to, to either the pills or the, or the dope, but I was such a prisoner and it made such a manipulation over me that I really believed I need this stuff and you don't. And that's what I want for you. So when you get to a point in your withdrawal where you know you need to keep going, your heart and your soul is telling you, you got to keep going. But that voice starts pounding on you saying, you know what? We got it. We got to stop this. We got to go. That is when you have to really hunker down and realize what's going on, all right? You need to, to know that the other side is near, all right? And you will get past this. It's going to suck, but you'll get past it, all right? And when you do, shit, you'll look back on that and be like, thank God I did it, all right? I really did it. I have something to be proud of. I mean... A lot of people aren't going to boast about the fact that they got through it. They don't want people to know it. But the victory of getting through it is one of the sweetest victories you'll ever have, if not the sweetest. I mean, it's it's like seriously breaking handcuffs off your life, taking the weight off your shoulders, and getting things going again where you're not a prisoner anymore. All right? Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. And uh, check out some more videos. Thanks.